the court among the three branches of government has the highest degree of respect today. And that is precisely because it is, by the way, it is not at 70 percent. It's just barely over 50 percent approval. But that is because there is a perception that the decisions rendered by the court actually are the consequence of some sort of deliberate and independent process. Now, there were times when the court existed where it was in the 90 percentile in terms of its respect. That was at the beginning, pre-FDR, at the beginning of the 20th century, pre-FDR. Over time, as activist judges have gone on the court, it has diminished its reputation, and that's why um, during the late 1960s all the way through the 1970s, you saw the number dip below 50%. If you were to put four more justices, six more justices, uh, have a court with 13 justices, and have named those individuals precisely because you want to change how the court rules on cases, you would begin to see the same sort of thing that we saw in the 1950s, 60s, and 70s with regard to the court no longer holding its high regard and, more importantly, people saying, well, since it's a political body, I don't need to be bound by the decisions of that court. Katie barred the door when the court rules on a decision and suddenly people go, who cares? 